<laughs> uh, right. Um, hey guys. Um, it's been a long time. Uh, you you're probably wondering where have I been? Oof. Um, I mean, uh, like I was working on a long video that's like 30 minutes long. It's called the Narrow Side Part Two. You're probably wondering like. What part two and what's the narrow side? Well, um, you know, Gmod news animated series I made. Uh, well, I kind of don't like it. And the name, I, I don't like the name, you know, because like I think like other people like have like made Gmod news, you know. And um, yeah, I want to change it to the narrow side. And yeah, uh, part two is coming to come out in two, three days. And um, uh, yeah. So, in this video, uh, we are going to play the most stinkiest game we can find on Steam on, and on uh, Google. And then how we did that is like um, we we uh, went we like um, how do I say it? So what happened is um, I just went to Steam and then um, I searched for like um, free games, like free, you know, very free. Um, yeah, the games were like free, and then I found like really weird titles. Uh, okay, I have like four games review from Steam, I think, and uh, yeah, let's get into the video. So first. The first game we're going to review is called. It's called. Blush Blush. Well, let's try it out. Again! Let on gay! Blush Blush. Graphics input. Alright, fantastic. Uh, display. Yeah, play. <coughs> ah! The fuck is that? Hello? Uh. Oh god. It's a first day of summer in the city. It's new so is celebrating grand opening. Yes, the Zeus engineer it to jump to 100 bottles is completely normal, not magical water. Let something go step. So, uh, how do I explain it? So, uh, so the objective of the game is uh, to touch the bunny, impregnate him, touch his genital. I don't, I don't fucking know, like, what is this game? <laughs> I'm, I'm kinda if I start feeling gay <laughs> after I, two seconds into the game. Oh god, so, uh, okay, so here's the major things. One. So, uh, fairies. Two. Uh, the second thing is, um, who is this white? Small young character, like who is it? Who is this? Is are are those the lost souls of William a William Afton's murdered children or something? I don't know. Uh, so here's a gameplay of me. Well, uh, what can I say? Um, I'll uh, give this game 2 out of 10. Right, so um, the next game is called, let me see, Bear Party Adventure. I mean, yeah, sure, just why not, why not, I mean, why not, I mean, you would, just because, why not. Let's play this game, I mean, start it. Who is talking? You! Can you please just jump and fucking drown? 
Right. So, um, you get spawned in a, um, weird village where everyone's a teddy bear and they talk like, um, archers from Doom. <laughs> Literally, the voice like. Oh! 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 You need to apply no. a guy, and pay uh, him money just to pick uh, some. <laughs> here's a record. Here's Dude, why you sound like my crap? My my like I regret my life decisions. So, anyways, uh. Right, so I, I go to this yellow dude. I think he's yellow. No, no, he's not yellow. He's. Hold up. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't remember his co uh, color. So. I went to this one dude and he's like, pick all the apples, right? And then uh, I pick, uh, he picked all of his apples and like, he's like, thank you and all that, you know. And I go to the red teddy bear. He's talking with a purple teddy bear. And he's like, oh, I, I wanna, I wanna go outside. And then like the pink one's like, no, you can't. Uh, they go. Uh, it's dangerous outside. And I was like, okay, is this bear's party adventure or is this Attack on Titan? Okay, and then I went to this um, yellow dude and it's like, can you fix the water hoe? And then, so, and then he said, to fix the water hoe, uh, go grab a, go and grab blues flower. And I was like, ah? So, I, I ran, I ran, and then I discovered uh, there is a technique called bunny hop. You literally have to run and then just keep tapping space. And then you can like really, really run fast and speed run. And, and then, uh, I didn't know how to how to get the flower, but then I realized the flower is all the time down, and this blue one's just up, stuck. Yeah, and then I I I gave uh, I got the flower, and then I realized the flower is a weapon. Yeah. Uh, spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Um, later in the game, you slap the shit out of uh, the enemies with the flower. Yeah, and then yeah, you go to this guy and. Uh, go, go, it tells you, the yellow bear says, okay, go to this red house, and I was like, and I was like okay, and then I go to this yellow, uh, I mean red house, and then, uh, there's, you have to, uh, you have to smash a window, and then you go, you go through, and then the yellow one, look, in the balcony, is like, hey, I'm like, hey, and then, like, he says, okay, parkour over this side, and then, uh, and then, uh, you have, turn on the water hole, and I was like, okay, and I bunny hop to the other side, and then, I hear this yellow g guy screaming, and then and I was like, "What's going on?" It's like, "Oh my God, we're being attacked!" I'm like, "What the heck?" And I go up and I see literally terrorists trapping these poor bears in a, uh, in a wagon. Literally, they're kidnapping all the bears. As and then he's like, uh, "It's like one of them is like, mm, what should we do about him?" And, and I was like. Let's kill, let's eliminate him. And then um, they threw a dynamite and I ran away. And then I just waited. I tried to escape. I thought I had to escape there, but then I went up and I saw they killed themselves. Yeah, and then I, I thought I, I had to go to this huge ass do door. And then I, 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 I found it some um, dead ones. It was tragic. And then, uh, and then the ye yellow is the only survivor, and he's like, "Here, take this weapon." And, and he gave me a crossbow, and the arrows are sunflowers. <sighs> yeah. Oh, uh, there's like three arcs in the game. I'm not done with the first one, but I had a fun. I had fun, but some parts, some parts really nearly impossible. Like, you really, really had to like have M ammo. But uh, here's the thing. So like here, there are like um five weapons first is the flower that you slap the shit out of the enemies second is uh, Uzi that shoots corn and uh, the third one is uh, what's called again the third one is called not again uh, rocket launcher and the fifth one is just grenades and the grenades are um, po po polo balls yeah I said balls generic balls so ah. Uh, so, um, I'll give this game a seven out of ten. Like, um, I it 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 looks really similar to Half Life Two, even the menu is like completely rip, ripped off of Half Life Two. But pretty pretty interesting game to say, you know, like, yeah, seven, seven out of ten. Radio Gauthier's Monkey,
daddy's glow. Okay, the next game is called City Monsters. Literally, this is a kid's game. It looks like an Android game. Did you know you know one of those? Like like uh, as soon as you like die, like you just die, fail or die once. Once and then uh, you have to watch an ad. I had. But uh, at least it was free, so. I mean. Yeah, so the objective is of the game is you have like a few character selection. And you have to go through the town and, dis and destroy shit. And also, there are like police cars chasing you. If they touch the tail, you lose some damage. And no nothing can. Nothing can touch your uh, tail. I mean, you know, I get this game uh, 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 free out of ten. Yeah, free out of ten. Uh, yeah. I mean, the art style looks kind of cool, but it literally looks like an Android game. Yeah. But he's coming for you. Yeah, he's coming for you. Ah, the other king, Gida Pampara, keep you with the run, better run. Oh. So the next game is called Loak. And you know, when a game has uh, this kind of title, you know, it's good. So, um, I get spawned and I go to this, I go to this uh, little box with um, Hatsune Miku icon on it. Uh, with yellow hair, of course. And then I go it and I get trapped and then and then uh I try to like answer some dialogues. Like um what's interest what what's interesting is you can like um answer you can choose between like talking normal, being destructive or uh or uh, being a weeboo. And then when 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 the uh, robot voice was talking to me I was like you know that uh, anime girl stuff. And then yeah. And a second, I want to do this uh, puzzle called Saxi Puzzle. I mean, yeah, I enjoyed the puzzle and it was sexy. I mean, what are those? My tits are bigger than their, than those. Because I'm a such a fat ass. Yeah, and then the objective of the game is to be so I had to do a tutorial on keep mur on uh, mur murdering cows, and your only weapon is a rocket launcher that has infinite ammo. And when you finish the tutorial, they say you are a <laughs> professional cow slayer. Can't believe this exists. Our first one we have Demon Slayer, Goblin Slayer, now we have Cow Slayer. I mean, I give this game, game a 6 out of 10 because of the uh, art style giving me seizures, eye damage, and uh, also for like um, the whole weep stuff. I mean, the gameplay is kind of boring, you know, just shoot up cows or enemies. and I'll So they're like bonus levels, but they're just like things like um, destroy the bulletproof cow or shoot flying Bill Gates head heads in the air. Mm -hmm.